Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We celebrate uh, the seventh Sunday of Easter, and as we begin, we remember that uh, Christ gives us new life, and so we ask him for forgiveness and grace. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give pardon and peace. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God Almighty, Graciously hear our supplications, O Lord, so that we who believe that the Savior of the human race is with you in your glory may experience as he promised until the end of the world his abiding presence among us, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. 
Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers. There was a group of about 120 persons in one place. He said, my brothers, the scripture had to be fulfilled which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. He was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning with the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Judas, called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, you, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, if God so loves us, we must also love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him, and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. says the Lord. 
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <clears throat> Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today we celebrate the seventh Sunday of Easter. We are coming toward the end of the Easter season, which is a total of 50 days, and they have gone by very quickly. Uh, we had uh, the Feast of the Ascension, and we're now preparing for Pentecost and the descent of the Holy Spirit. The readings today show this transition from, from the life of Jesus as he's preparing for the life of the church and his continued presence in the church by the Holy Spirit. The, the first reading is when the apostles had to replace Judas because Judas uh, betrayed the Lord, Ju Judas left. And so uh, Matthias was chosen uh, so that once again they would have the 12 apostles just like there were 12 tribes of Israel. And Peter says, we need one who was with us the whole time from the baptism of John up until the ascension, the day when the Lord was taken up from us. And Matthias had been with the group that whole time and then he was a witness to the resurrection. So he was able to be a witness to the life of Jesus and his death and resurrection. The gospel is also about preparing for the church. Uh, it takes place at the Last Supper when Jesus gives a, a very long discourse, and, and this is John chapter 17, which is called the High Priestly Prayer of Jesus. Uh, Jesus is praying and interceding uh, for the church uh, because he knows that he is going to return to the Father, and so he uh, prays for the disciples who will continue his mission on earth after Christ has returned to heaven. And so he prays for them that they may be one. He prays for unity in the truth, in holiness, in God who is love. Uh, just as the, the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is one in love. And so the Holy Spirit makes us in the church one in love. Even though we're all different from each other and we uh, do things differently and we have different opinions and think about things differently, but we must be united in the love of God. Christ prayed at the Last Supper that we may be one. And so we pray with him. We pray for unity among all Christians uh, because uh, sadly we are divided. We're not able to worship all together. Um, so we pray for all those who follow Jesus that we may be one in love and in the truth because 
he has given us the gift of the Eucharist and the gift of the Holy Spirit so that we may be united in the love of God. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Joined together as a community of faith, we place before the Lord our needs. That the church may continue to proclaim the message of Christ's love to all with clarity and conviction, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may be responsive to the needs of the poor, the hungry, and the vulnerable, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For mothers, that through the intercession of Mary, the mother of God, the Lord will bless them and reward them for their love, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit, that God's healing love may renew and strengthen them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may share in the gift and promise of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of all the people of our parishes, in our pastoral care area. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God of life, you are the source of love. You sent Jesus to show us how to live and care for each other. Hear our prayers and help us to find your will for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Douglas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We now join in the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ, keep me safe. Love 
each other well in Christian holiness. Let strife among us be unknown. Let all contention cease. Be God's the glory that we seek. Be ours God's Let us pray. Hear us, O God, our Savior, and grant us confidence that through these sacred mysteries there will be accomplished in the body of the whole Church what has already come to pass in Christ her head who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen.